Hey everyone, it's your XOXO Claudie Fidgets, and today we'll be making this cardboard skincare inspired by the Bioma Moisturizer. It has a working pump, and it's lots of fun to make. And if you're new, I'm XOXO Claudie Fidgets, and everything in the background are all handmade by me using cardboard or recycled materials. And I do have tutorials posted on my channel. And for today, let's begin with this moisturizer tutorial. And let's begin with the materials. You need a ruler, cardboard, color paper, a marker, pair of scissors, some tape, and stuffing. And feel free to pause in the next part for some alternatives you could use. And now let's move on to the first part, building the base. So first begin by cutting this cardboard into the shapes we need. And all the measurements will be linked in the description box. And now these are the three pieces we'll be using for the base. I'm now going to cover them with some colored paper and you can feel free to use some tape or even a glue stick. And now here what the pieces look like after you glue the paper on top. And now I'm just going to grab a marker and draw a label on it. And here's how it looks like after drawing the label on. And I'll just cover everything over with some tape. And here it is. Now I'm just going to take the base piece and flip it over and tape this middle piece around it and also this piece on top of everything. Alright, and I'm just taping each of the four sides. So here's how it looks like so far. And I'm just going to repeat the same step and take a piece of tape and tape these two sides together. And the same on the bottom as well. Alright, and now here it is. And essentially, you want to repeat the same step of taping and wrapping it around for all of the four sides. And I'll see you guys once I finish taping here. Alright, and here it is after taping everything all together. And now after building this base, we can now move on to part two, building the pump. Alright, now for part two, these are all the cardboard pieces we'll be using. And I'm just going to start by covering all of them with some colored paper and tape just like this one. So here's everything now, and each piece have a layer of colored paper and tape on top. So now we're just going to take these two pieces first. And I'm going to start by taping the strip around the square, just like what we did here. Alright, and here's how it looks like after taping them all together. And now we're going to take the base we made earlier, and tape this little piece on top. So now here's how it looks like. And I just used little strips of tape for each side to glue them together. And now we're going to take one of these paper strips and the circle. And now we're just going to tape this strip around the circle. Here it is now, and I taped mine with little pieces of tape all throughout. However, you can also feel free to use hot glue during this part. And now I'm just going to take the next strip of cardboard. And wrap it around over here, just like that. And only tape the ends here closed. So here it is after taping it closed, and you can just push the inside part out. So now we have the circle piece from before, and a ring that is just a little bigger than this. So now I'm going to grab the container, and start by gluing this ring on top of here. So here's mine, and I just attached it with a few pieces of tape. And now you want to take some stuffing and place it inside here. Just like that, and place this piece on top. And now the pump works! But however, for this part, if you don't have stuffing, you can also feel free to use a spring, some cotton balls, or even some tissues. And now for the last part of making this pump, I'm just going to take this little piece of cardboard. I'm going to fold mine into a little cone. And I tape them together. Here's how it looks like on the back and in the front. You can also feel free to just cut the cardboard into a triangle shape. So now I'm just going to tape mine onto the circle part. And here's what mine looks like close up. And now after building the pump, we can move on to the last part, building the lid. To build the lid is actually fairly simple compared to the last part. All you need are these two pieces. And you just want to also start by covering them all with colored paper and tape. So now here they are, both covered with colored paper and tape. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip this square over and then cover this around. Just like what we did over here and here. And now here it is after taping everything all together. And now, it's time to put the lid on. And here's what everything looks like. But anyways, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I hope you have fun if you made one along to this video. And comment what I should make next. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Because I will be doing a face reveal once we hit 1 million. And a name reveal once we hit 500k. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. And bye!